guys. A little bit of just get it on the just the tip of there, and the other side. I'm just going to touch the other side here and on the other side, and that will be the ears. Okay, and then I'm going to get a light colour. We're going to use probably going to use actually the dark sienna. Okay, use the dark sienna, and I use some of this bit of dark sort of muddy colour that we used before, which is a little bit, just a touch of black in it, just to tone it down a little bit, because we don't want the same colour as the flesh. So I'm just going to put the head on there, on his hair. Head and his ears, I'm bringing it down to a could be like mine when I had some hair underneath, going around here. I'm just gonna get some a bit of black and a bit of this dark we mixed up with the sienna and the blue and the black. So I'm just gonna add all that together. So it just looks a nice dark colour. Spread it out nice and flat. We'll wipe the knife again. Just squeeze it off. Same thing again, I'm just going to go down and take just a tiny little bit on there, hopefully you can see that. And I'm literally just going to touch and bend it around. So I'm literally just going to touch, bend around like so. Okay, of course it goes thicker and then it goes all the way down like that. Just add a bit more on there. see that and then I wipe my brush again there's, there's little like rings and hooks so I'm just going to use a little tip get a little bit of paint just on the very tip here and I run some little dots un underneath literally I'm just going to touch Make them slightly bigger as they come up towards you. Okay, so it looks like the, the little rings on there. And then down here in his hand, there's a little reel. So basically, I'm just going to do a little circle, like so. Sort of like a handle or something like that that he's holding on. It's holding on to like a little handle and so on. Okay, now. Again. What I want to do is I'm going to use the point again and I'm literally I'm going to scrape from that bobbin to the end of the reel here. Now, I'm not going to do like a straight line, I'm just going to curl it a little bit. So, but I'm just going to touch, I'm literally going to scrape the canvas. To the top of the line so that looks like that is the actual fishing line it's going all the way along into the bobbin so hopefully you can see that nice I'm happy with that I get myself in a mess as usual my hands are mucky I should wear gloves really shouldn't I so let's start putting a little bit of foliage in here and so we want him to sit on and then we can start highlighting up there 
So, and it's nice and easy again. So we're gonna go into this dark mix that we use for the trees up here. I'm gonna pull all this down, one way the other way, and then I'm gonna tap. Tap it one way, other way. And this time, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press upwards. So I have the handle higher than the bristles, I'm literally, I'm just going to press up. Like so. What it does, you've got these like sort of little furry effects at the top there. And then I'm going to come below it and do some more. And what happens is, you'll get some little light areas shown and that's fine. Brush up again, put it one way the other way, give it a tap, another way, carry on across. And literally, I'm bending the bristle, the, the, the bristles are bending. You can do this, you can do this. Literally, I'm just bending the bristles up, bending the bristles, just keep bending the bristles up, just putting in dark. You need dark to show the light. Literally, just get, get this up a bit. It's a bit higher. I want a bit higher. Literally, just put it in. So we've got our base is sitting there. This is the water. I think what we might even do is might even put a little path in, but let's see. So what I want to do now is uh, we're going to highlight. I think, yeah, actually, we'll put a little path in. Why not? Let's put a little path in there. He's obviously got to get down to the bank somewhere. So I think we could put a little path coming up here. So what we do, we're going to some dark sienna. Put the dark sienna. Mix it with a little bit of this dark black colour. Not a lot, hardly anything. I'm going to pull that out. And I'm going to hold the knife flat and literally I'm just going to come across like so. this path going across here. So literally I'm just forcing the paint on top. Okay, so I've got a little path going down there. And I'm gonna wipe, wipe my knife. I'm gonna get the same color and a little bit of white. effect here. I'm going to cut through it and I'm just going to put a little bit of the colour very lightly. I'm not pushing my my finger on the knife, I'm very lightly holding it between the ferrule and I'm just going to come across very lightly, just come across like this, just like so. Okay. If it's too light we can darken it down again if you're not happy. What I'm going to do is, I'm just going to use this brush very lightly. I'm just going to just go over it very, very, very lightly. Just go over it, just to dull it back into there. Because I'm going to put foliage around it anyway. Okay. So let me get some more paint. Okay. So now we're going to start just highlighting a few of these trees and so on. Now we use the we're going to use the one-inch brush and some liquid white. So I've got some liquid white, so I'm gonna dip in some liquid white. I'm gonna put that on my, my palette. I'm gonna grab a little bit of yellow ochre, a uh, cadmium yellow, sorry, cad yellow. Get a little bit of that. I'm gonna take it into a bit of this black, bluey color. Put that in there. And some sap green. So it's sap green, cadmium yellow, and a little touch of bluey black. And that give us a sort of a greeny, dully colour. But we need quite a lot. So I'm literally going to get the brush, I'm going to put it all towards me, so and bend the bristles, and then turn the bend part up to the top. So 
so the rounded bit is at the top and very lightly I'm just gonna press in just a few bits of colour here and there and I'll miss a couple I don't want to do them all the same colour but what will happen is and I'm going slightly above the dark okay when you do it slightly above the dark okay slightly above the dark let's do another one there just so you can see and then what I do I'm going to change the flavour a little bit so now I'm going to go into the yellow ochre pull that down put that into that colour as well that we just used put it all down hard and turn the bristles up and then I'm going to go perhaps the one next to it now when you, when you touch this it touches very very lightly not too much and I don't come down the bottom here okay because I'm going to use different colour down there so very light pressure very light presser, pressure at all. Okay, bit of colour, nice bit of colour on there. And then I'm going to go into a little bit of the lizard crimson, pull some of that down as well. So I'm not cleaning the brush, I'm just going into these colours. this colour on there, this lovely ready colour, okay, I'm going to hold the brush sideways, like so, and just at the base in a few places I'm just going to press up, here and there, okay, so I'm just tapping, press up, like this, just along on top of the water line. dark colour that we used before for the trees. Just same thing, just in a few places, just tap a little bit of that over the top of it. Just to dull it down a little bit if we need to. Okay. That was good. The radius head there, I'm just gonna put in a little bit of colour. Looks like I missed a little bit around his head with this dark. And I'm just gonna tap a little bit of this dark colour in here. So we've got this lovely rig at the base, a little bit of land. Hopefully that makes sense. A bit more in there. Down there. Good. Just tap at the base. Oh it's got some beautiful colours going on there. Okay. Now what we're going to do, we're going to come down to this and we're going to put some colours in there. And I'm going to put more sap green. So we're going to use sap green. yellow, black and some liquid white. So we'll go into some liquid white first, into some liquid white. I'm going to pull that down into the cad yellow. I'm going to get just a little bit of black there, a little bit of blue. Different green. Okay, put it all down, all down. Put it down this way, this way. And then with this, I'm literally going to do the same as what I did down here. I'm going to press upwards. Literally just press up. Like so. Just press up. That's all I'm doing. Literally just pressing up to create these bushy shapes. Gaps. And where I'm pressing up, he's, he's picking up the other colour from a brush. So I've a little bit of yellow on there, a bit of red on there. And literally, I'm just just pressing. So I'll do the bush. Don't kill all the dark. So 
So, we have a finished picture, guys. Now, hopefully, you all have a go at doing this picture. It didn't take too long, it's pretty easy. Basic materials, not too many colours, a few brushes. So, that's Mark Terrell from Paint with Mark. I hope you really like this picture. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment below uh, on my YouTube channel. Please share this again, and if, if you find any value, I really do appreciate the comments and everything. Thanks guys for sharing this with me, and I'll see you next time.